Games for Change, we're a non-profit that uh, promotes the positive power of games. And what we're doing here today, for the first time ever with Tribeca, is the public arcade. Some of the highlights are the American Museum of Natural History, doing very interesting things around their new exhibition. We have the Institute of Play with Quest to Learn, a public school that is very innovative in how they think about learning and playing. We have Zynga.org, you know, giving to charity through Farmville. So they build kind of a, almost like a real life farm. What we're doing here with the arcade, and we hope to do more of this, is coming out of the street with a very different perception of what games can do. You see people being immersed in these experiences or being excited by these experiences, whether they're on a tablet or they're talking to a human or they have a box on their head and they're playing that you know real life interactive game that's happening at the end of the street. It's just a lot of energy and excitement on this block, I think. We are teaching the curriculum, or well, part of the curriculum for people that are interested in our school and we have a design your own game in under one minute part where you have uh, multiple props build the game that you want. Part of what's been the magic sauce that's made Games for Change such an incredible festival these past 11 years has been the different communities that it's brought together. People from education, people from game design, people from public policy, foundation, government. Today we get to go outside that sphere and connect with families and people who are just coming to have a day in the city, enjoy the nice weather, have some fun with their kids, and discover a whole new way to think about games that we've been exploring this past decade.